Hi there, 30 Day Challengers, Caro here, and welcome to 30 Day Challenge Pre-Season 2009. My video today is going to be on Skype, and I'm going to take you through both downloading it and setting it up so that you can use Skype as an online tool to connect with your teammates during the 30 Day Challenge. Now, I was first introduced to Skype in 2005, through the 30 day challenge and I have to say it's a tool that I love it works very well and it's free so it's great now Skype sometimes can play up a little bit and that's more about Skype than you I've noticed over the years that the technology has just advanced so much and I find the quality when you use it is excellent and again it's really convenient because you can speak to anybody around the world so without further ado Follow me and I'll take you through the whole downloading it and installing it. So, follow me. So all you need to do is type in to your browser www.skype.com and don't worry about this, um, it just transfers to that. And you come to this page here that says to download Skype. Now I already actually have Skype and I've been through a rehearsal and it will take me to my same Skype. So. I'll take you through much, as much of it as I can, as if I don't have it. Please know it's very, very easy. So you click download here and it works out what computer you are on. So it's um, very intuitive. So, you know, for most of you, you'll be on a PC. It will say you need a, a PC. So then you choose OK there and then what will happen is when you go into it for the very first time, so I've downloaded, I've chosen to download it, it downloads, then it will come up and, and for PC users it will come up in a particular file or ask you to save it to a particular file. So when you open Skype for the first time, you will see there's a Skype name and password signing in. Now mine's already there. It will ask you to type in your Skype name and password. And that is what you will be called on Skype. So that's your Skype username and then the password and you can also ask it to remember you. So let's have a look at some of the key functions. Now down here you'll see a little add a contact. So if you just click that you can then add a name. Now I'd suggest the first person, people that you want to add are your team members, so um, also your friends in the real world. So often it can be really useful. It, it can This tool can either go through the Skype name or the full name or email address. So let's look at the Skype name and I'll use an example, Ted Legend. So I then search and it comes up Ed. I then click on that and choose Add Contact. Now, I'm already connected to Ed, so it's um, you know it's it's not going to go through for me, but for you, it will say Add Contact, and you will actually let's go to this file. You'll receive a variety of options, and one of them will be because um, it says he's already in my contacts and will not add it again. It will come up and say Add Contact now. Now something I just a personal request that I or or an etiquette thing I would suggest that you do do is actually send the person a message. Don't just sort of say, you know, could I add you now, um, or whatever the um, default is. Actually say, hi, it's Caro, um, you know, would like to connect with you on Skype. So it's, it's all part of building relationships, which is a business that we're in, because we're going to be building relationships with our target market in the niche that we're going to be researching through 30 Day Challenge. So, and it, you know, it just doesn't hurt you to be, be, you know, to put that little bit of extra effort in. So you add the contact, they will then be receiving a message from you to say, do they want to receive you as a um, contact? And they will make a choice of either yes or, or no, and I think they can block you. So in this case, it's more than likely to be that they will say yes, because they, you know, your teammate and it's in their best interest to say yes. So that's how to add a contact. Now you'll see here that there's different, you know, some have text like this, others have um, an away. Now these are the varieties that you can have here. This is what I use if I'm actually recording. I don't have this on at the moment. Um, away, not available now. Here's another thing that I would recommend from an etiquette perspective. Let's say Robert here 
if I wanted to speak with Robert, rather than just phoning him, I recommend from an etiquette perspective, and I'm just moving this so it comes into your screen, that you actually, um, you can see that I did this before because um, I'm, I've recorded this once and I'm recording this again. So, sorry, my cat just jumped onto the computer. I have two cats that believe they're internet marketers. So, getting back to this, I always send a little note like, hi Robert, are you there? Can you speak? Just something like that rather than just calling because that can be very intrusive. I know I don't enjoy it when somebody just calls. So it's just, again, some etiquette, um, you know, just a politeness. Now, let's have a look. You can see here that I have set up certain things. Now, this is what I've chosen. And you go up into the view and customize your toolbar. Now, I've chosen those particular ones because that's just what I like to use. You can make the choice yourself. I've also, um, I think I have icon and text because that's what I like as well. So that allows me to set up a conference. If I just click on that, I can also go to um, chat and set up a conference. So, and to do that, it would be as simple as doing that and then adding their name and so forth. There we go, 24 and host. So that is wonderful. You can have huge conferences tend to use the phone version as opposed to the um, video version for conferencing. I've just found that that works very well. Now let's take you up to preferences. Now on your PC, this is more than likely to be in tools and options. Again, no set thing that you should or shouldn't do. This is just what I prefer. Um, some people do try and spam you on Skype. It's not a huge issue or a huge problem, but um, I just, you know, have mine set to that. Um, you know, general s settings that you have. Now, here's something that I really recommend that everybody watching this does do, and even on a tight budget, I really recommend this is worth it, is to get a external headset and microphone that plugs into your computer. The reason behind this is it improves the quality for both you and for those that are on the Skype call with you tenfold. It even goes as far as a thousandfold. It's, you know, when I started in 2005, I was recommended Panatronic. So I'm certainly, it's, you know, what, four years and it's still the same headset, works brilliantly. So um, there's many other brands out there. I did make the choice to get a quality one and I'm glad I have because four years later I'm still using the same one. So really recommend that you do get a headset. If you just use your computer microphone, and, and you know many computers have excellent microphones, it still distorts the sound. So you can end up sounding like you're underwater or there's an echo. And if you're on a conference call, that one person that doesn't have a headset really can destroy the experience for everybody. So, um, you know, sometimes it can work well, but Overall, I'd say that it's really in your best interests um, because Skype is such a great tool. It saves so much money um, because you can, you know, speak to people if you're in Australia like I am in the US or the UK um, via Skype, via your um, Skype accounts, and it costs you absolutely nothing. And these are some other functions. Let's look at file transfers. So I have it here, or what I could do is I've also chosen it here. So through 30 Day Challenge, you might want to share something with your team members. So send a file. So I can choose something like that or anchor text code or something like that and send it to who I choose to. So it's very, very easy. So if I was on here with Robert, I can then choose to send the file I can choose to send a file just through that or I could choose to send him an SMS if I had which I'm highly unlikely to because I I have him here so again that is an excellent function that you can use Skype for sometimes it can take a while for the um, file to download you know it is what it is so that's another thing. Here's the conference thing. This is just what I have happened to have on my, um, you know, particular um, toolbar here for my Skype. So that's pretty much it. 
Skype is really, really interactive, user-friendly, um, a lot of fun. Um, I love it. Now, actually, I do want to cover here. You see here it says buy Skype credit. You can actually choose to, um, at a great discount, buy some credit um, and ring somebody from Skype onto their landline or their mobile. So, you know, as you can see, I have some in my, my account and I do use that from time to time and I might use it to send somebody an SMS or something like that. Again, not necessary for the 30 day challenge. Have a look at it, make the you know decision for yourself, but ready for 30 day challenge, the key things are to set yourself up on Skype, to get your teammates on Skype, and as an addition, and this is more my personal recommendation as a um, active Skype user, that I really you know, recommend you consider using a headset um, for Skype. It just improves the, the experience. So I think that pretty much covers it. So thank you for watching this video on Skype. It is, as I've said before, just a wonderful tool. It's an essential tool to your online business and it's a free tool. So I use it a lot. I you know, really don't use my landline this, that much these days because from a business perspective, the people that I need to to talk to either speak to on Skype or you know I chat for the Mac but Skype really is a universal tool you can speak if you're on a Mac you can speak to somebody on PC and vice versa you can speak to anybody anywhere in the world so yeah it's 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 a great tool so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to talking to you again take care bye